Hey gamers, welcome back. It's quite a dark level. This it's um, not this level, but the next after the next part will be featuring um, an epic battle inside a terminus, and the graphics on that left level are just absolutely amazing. As are on every single level in the game, you know. But there's ones that stand out for me, so I look forward to that. But also look forward to this. I'll try not to die too many times. Sometimes you can creep up and, you know, bump them off with a knife. So you're better off doing, really, but... Oh, there's one of those guys with a, you know... The pointed head type. A lot harder to kill. Instead, they are take that. Just been on a bus today. There's a Chinese lady in front of me, there's a little girl, and some idiot pulled in front of the bus. And the little girl went flying and banged all her head, it was nasty. But she was okay, thankfully, afterwards. You know, it's anybody who drives a car fast. Where's the fire, you know? Come on. Watch what you're doing. Accidents can happen, but God. Why cause them to happen by being an, an idiot? By being selfish and, and causing accidents because you're driving stupidly. You know? Could have been worse. Could have crashed the bus. And there have been several injuries and possibly deaths involved, you know? Just because of somebody's selfishness and selfishness and stupidity. Anyway, enough about that. I don't want to depress anybody, but you know, shit happens. I didn't see the incident. I would have made damn sure I took the registration. Right, right. Let open the door. Look at this central station. And if you if you're not if you're from New York, you might be familiar with the uh, the buildings and the, the layout. I don't know. I don't know if the layout's intended to be exactly like New York, or you know, it's just a recreation of certain parts of the, the city. I've never been to New York, so I don't know. I've only seen films and television. I'd love to go myself though. Some of my online PlayStation 3 friends are from New York. Ah, good old DSG. Come on, where am I going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Ah, there you go, there's, there's number one squid. You can choose to ignore them if you want. I think I'll just drop down here, get out of the way. Use a nano vision sometimes when it's too dark. Sometimes it picks out little um, treats in the corner, you know, little souvenirs. <laughs> Always oh, the visor, it's such a brilliant, you know, tool to have. Also gives you a kind of like a waypoint, you know. Jesus, you've got extended mags on this thing. Oh damn, Again, I've been shot from every bloody angle here. It's him down. Oh shit! Mm, you fuck, Ooh, good on. To say a game is graphically ahead of it, ahead of its time, this is one of them. But they said that with the original Crisis, you know. The Savat Yearly, who makes these games, he was talking, saying um, he, want, he likes to make future-proof games on future-proof systems. So that's why they support the PC more, you know, because the PC is future-proof. You just upgrade it when necessary. 
but we can make current gen graphics like as good as this. Imagine how good the graphics will be on the on the next gen and on the next gen PCs as well. Absolutely incredible. Look at that. Kate while back was that? You notice they, they leave like an essence behind and you pick up that essence and it gives you nano suit perks but I've got all of them if you, if you notice. In rare times I do call up the perks. I've got my nano suit set just how I want it but it's still you know sometimes it doesn't get you through. Got head for there, 71 meters, come on. One thing that's not realistic with this game, the minute, this split second you become decloaked, you get shot with bullets or laser beams, whatever, in an instant. Which, in reality, you know, they'd see you, but I mean, they won't see you in a split second. Especially in a big area. And in the dark. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, not another one of them. Oh, for God's sake. Die! <sighs> Bleeding Seth, they do me in. Especially those ones. But at the end of this this um, campaign, you, you get, keep getting hints of them through different levels. You know, the, the, the Seth that can go cloaked. And all those guys are hard to take out. Work out where to go, you know. Jesus, come on! Oh dear, oh dear, no, no, gotta get out of here, gotta get out, gotta get out, ah, for Christ's sake. <laughs> oh, never mind. Let's get back into it. Chicken mode engaged. <laughs> Avoid them like the plague mode engaged. See? <laughs> get out get the hell out of the way. Right, past the statue again. Sorry about that. I know you've seen this part already, but I'm gonna get through it quicker this time. Oh god damn. Get out of my way. Don't start something you can't finish. Oh. We're into this building. I've got to do. It. I've got to do it this time. Press that button. Damn it! This is too many. They just surround you, get shooting you from all angles. We got any grenades? See, this is the same section again. No. You're not doing it this time. Come off it. Boom. Yeah, you go on. They explode you. Rubber chicken. Well, I was subscribed, and probably I still am subscribed to a guy called Sakuraba1982. He's Due to no fault of his own, he's, he's had to start a new channel because his, his old ch this channel in, in question is broken. So it's now called Sackmeister1982. So you know, move over to that channel if you if you're a subscriber and you've not not you know not realised yet. There's me doing my bit through a friend who, to be honest, has helped me as well. I'm only a small channel. I've only got 106 subscribers as I'm speaking right now. But a lot of them have come across because of him, so a big thumbs up to that guy. And you know, if you don't never heard of him, you know, subscribe. There's a few people I'm associating myself with, and Rhythmworks as well. Rhythmworks Gaming, you need to subscribe to him. He's, you know, 
he's not your everyday gamer. You know, he, he produces the kind of videos that are interesting and informative, and in his own particular style. So, you know, if you want to get gameplays of the latest games, I mean, it, his and my channel is not the right kind of channel for you, but, you know, they're still entertaining in their own way. Right, let's get these detonators. Blow this. Yeah, you have to set these off and then find the actual detonator device. Which, and all the lights go off. That's right, yeah. Alright, come on. I think they made the energy bar way too small in this game. And you shouldn't lose energy for running. That's behind there. See, in Crisis 3, that's where the game differs. You, you, you don't lose energy when you run. Like I was saying, shooter games, as soon as you've gone past a certain level of health because you've been shot at, you should be prevented from running away quick or jumping away in this game's case, you know? To me, there's nothing worse than somebody's got on 1% health and they've been able to get away from you. It's, and then further down the line they turn around and shoot you and still win the battle you know things like that shouldn't happen I'm trying to get out of here I'm a bit lost here now oh god it, it just doesn't last long enough piss off squid Eating calamari with legs. Yeah, this is yeah. Try to find the way out here. Well, I hope it doesn't take me too long to find a way out. Is that a stairway at the end? Yeah, I think it was a ramp. Yeah, Jesus. Fucking energy bar goes down way too quick. Yeah, that's the way there. Get up here. Are we out? Come on, let's get out of here. One thing, one criticism that is both this and Crisis 3 is the game just pauses while, you know, you get go to another checkpoint. When you go through a checkpoint, it just pauses. Shouldn't do. Anyway, if you ever get this game or you've got it, try doing a power, <coughs> power stomp on the on the dead man walking level from the top of the building. You can power stomp all the way to the ground. Try it; it's, it's spectacular. And you don't you don't receive not no damage whatsoever. It's really good. Transmitter. Torres is down. Repeat. Torres is down. Somebody get the dead. He's not a very good striker in it. anyway. I think it's talking about a different Torres. What the fuck am I doing here? Oh yeah, that's right, yeah. That's the way, that's the way. There he is in the corner there. Right, there we go. Detonate. Oh my god. I've never seen one of them move that quick. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> well, that's a train that was on time. <laughs> you don't see a lot of that. That way. Right, 
Where do we go? Where the hell? Right, right, I'm trying to. Oh, that's that way. Right, okay. I like the enemy. Or is that uh, <laughs> my own soldiers? Yeah, my own soldiers. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? This level's nearly over. It's just got to take care of these. And then it's the final battle inside the terminus and it's it's, it's one hell of a good level. Boxing IQ. He's uh, arguably probably the best fight night champion player in the world. I mean, quite a few might disagree with that, you know. And I say that also because he's mastered the game on the Xbox 360 as well, you know, so that... Someone who's got a fantastic ref record on, on both consoles, you know. They, imagine me trying to play Final Champion on a, with an Xbox controller. Just don't, don't even go there. And they're heavily into mixed martial arts, um, EA Sports with the new Xbox One. But nothing said about a new boxing game, which is pretty sad. It's the best sport to watch, I think. Don't get me wrong; that's just my opinion. It, you know, mixed martial arts is great, but when they're rolling about on the ground, it's boring. Anyway, that's typically off topic moment for me there. As always, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. This is Pemby66 signing off.